Joining us now for more on the Russian-Ukrainian war is the host of the Michael Savage podcast, Dr. Michael Savage. Michael, we are 24 hours into this war now. I, I want to get your general thoughts on where things stand and, and Biden's weakness. But I'm curious, uh, you know, what are your thoughts so far in, in terms of, you know, Russian opposition? Uh, obviously, uh, we know that there are demonstrations going on right now in Moscow, reports of over 1,700 there. Uh, you know, are people supporting Putin in, in uh, this invasion? I'm not in Russia, so I can't comment, but I will say this. It's difficult to explain what is happening in that area without spending about an hour on it. And if I do so, I will sound like an apologist for Putin. And I think people need to understand the history of the region, which goes back at least a thousand years. And this conflict did not begin eight years ago. It did not begin 80 years ago. It began a thousand years ago. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend an hour on this tomorrow on my podcast, but for tonight, which is a news cycle. I would just like to say we need to understand who Zelensky is. He is a puppet of George Soros. We have to understand the mindset of Putin, who is a dictator and a tyrant, but how Zelensky challenged and provoked him for years now, ever since he was installed by Soros, provoked the Russian bear by sticking him over and over again. Just two weeks ago, he said, we're going to buy nuclear weapons. We're going to fight Putin. And a State Department official in this country said, if Putin invades, he'll go home with body bags. This is not diplomacy. Now, both the Ukrainian people and the Russian people have suffered throughout the centuries. We must emphasize they have both suffered throughout the centuries. But we must also remember that the Ukraines had Nazi divisions in World War II, and the Russians never had Nazi divisions in World War II. People don't know this. But I am ancestrally from Belarus, which was really part of Ukraine in World War II. All my ancestors, a million Jews, were killed by the Nazis in World War II. And they actually saw the Soviets as their saviors. Now, once the Soviets came in, it was not a picnic either. They also did horrible things. But there were Nazis in Ukrainian divisions, and there still are Ukrainian Nazis. So when we hear Putin say, I want to take the Nazis out, for the last eight years, there have, been, have you, there have been Ukrainian Nazis fighting the Russians. It's like World War II all over for them. So they never forget well, this. Well, Dr. Michael the Savage. Russians, sorry. The Russians, the Russians sorry, have a Dr. very Savage. long history in their mind. So Americans, I want to say this, like the underdog, whether it's in a sporting match or anything like this. They like the underdog. So it's natural for them to sympathize with little Zelensky. But he is a terrible man who has made a fortune in the, these few years, he's been installed by Soros. So it's not as simple as little guy faces big guy. Again, we have to understand it's a thousand years of Russian religious history. He says that he wants to recapture spiritual space. This is a terrifying phrase that goes back a thousand years of Russian religious history. He sees himself as rebuilding not only the ex-Soviet Union, which everyone is repeating over and over again like robots, but they have to understand he's also rebuilding in his mind holy Russia. It's an extension of the ancient Russian empire. And unless people understand how Putin thinks, they'll never understand what's going on over there. We have a country that's only a few hundred years old. They have a nation that's thousands of years over there. And we don't understand any of what's going on, except in terms of the microcosm of little guy Zelensky facing the tyrant Napoleon.